That's what I, this is what we do. We have fun. If we're not having fun, we don't do it. Nope. <laughs> Alright guys, if you guys watched the last video, or if you didn't watch the last video, I told you we're gonna be going around the show with Gracie to find some animals that she's never gotten to check out before. Ooh, I didn't meet your sister. Is this your sister? No, she's my best friend. Your best friend? Oh, what's up, best friend? What's your name? Corey. Corey? Mm -hmm. Well, what's up, best friend? I'm Brian. Corey. Nice to meet you. Corey the best friend. <laughs> Alright. I used to have a best friend and then he uh where is that guy? So we're gonna walk around, we're gonna try and find some cool animals at the show for Gracie to check out and we're gonna see who's cool enough to let her hold some animals. Let's, yep. let's, let's go, let's find them. Let's make it happen. Yes sir, can I help you sir? I didn't do it. Uh, I'm pretty he sure you did. did. It. People, this guy's been bothering me. If you could get security over here. He's, uh, <laughs> I brought backup, he's in the stroller. <laughs> yep, now you gotta remember it has a mouth so it could bite, but chances of it happening is pretty minimal. Just need to let you know, okay? So you're gonna need to wash your hands when you're done too because the back here where you see the shiny black spot, those are called urticating hairs. And what they can do is they can kick them up in the air and just rubbing on your hand, you'll get a little bit on you and they're itchy. Is this your first time holding a transfer mm -hmm. spider? First time ever? How you doing good? Nice and calm? I'm feeling confident about the rest of the day based off of this little experience alone. You want to smile for me? Doing great. Smile. So oh, what, what type of spider did you say that was again? Gramistola pokra, the Brazilian black. <laughs> So we're here at Deadly Tarantula Girl's booth. She's the one that we can thank for the, well actually, her faithful cameraman is one we can thank for pulling out the spider. Marita's away doing a talk here at the show right now actually, so, so I'm gonna put a link down in the description for Marita's channel, Deadly Tarantula Girl. You guys go check it out. She's got all, lots of cool stuff on there and uh, have a blast. First spider experience, what do you think? You gonna get one now? I love it, I want one now. Yeah. Bloods, I find, I very rarely get bit. A lot of people get bit all the time. They're a heavier bodied animal than a ball python. So if I pick you up by your head, you're gonna hurt, it's gonna pull on your spine, it's gonna mm -hmm. hurt. They're a heavier body, so if you don't support the full weight of their body, it hangs, they're gonna bite you because they want you to drop them so they can get on the ground and be comfortable again because it's more painful for them. The second thing is, they're an extremely attentive species. You can watch their pupils move, they're watching their surroundings a lot. If I take it out and let you hold it over there, people start coming around, Pe fast movements they don't like, they're gonna strike. So even when I give it to you here, if he moves real quick and does something, it's gonna strike that way and it'll probably scare you. So I told you to come back here so at least I'm in a more controlled environment when I'll give it to you. But I'm not gonna give you one that's in shed because that not, doesn't work for really well. They're really jumpy. But if you're by yourself and doing everything by yourself, they're, they're a great animal. And I will say, um, <clears throat> when they do bite, they don't hold on. So they're like a ball python. It's a strike, they will bite. It does hurt, because they have probably a little bit higher jaw pressure than a ball python. But I mean, you're not gonna die. See, so that guy moving right there, that's exactly what she did. She struck at him because he's moving. They don't like that. I mean, you okay? I'm here, girl. Yeah, and so when they do, just like go. Tim was doing, what you do is go back and just get the full support of her body. Yep. Keep your hands behind them, just like Tim's doing right now. And then you'll kind of get her back in calm. And if you, you spend enough time with them, you'll get them to a point where they'll be more and more comfortable yeah. with how you yeah. handle them. You know, just that. keep her a little bit low like that, you'll be okay. Then the only other problem with them is when they do start, even if you're holding by yourself, they start biting, they start getting really antsy. They start going all over the place. They get really wild if you try to hold on. They'll start flailing their tail everywhere and then they just start peeing everywhere. It makes a gigantic mess. But they get what they were trying to accomplish, which is, hey, put me down and you put them down quick. And so they're going, ah, I won. That was Earl. Good job, Earl. Yeah. There you go. You did good, though. <laughs> yep, didn't drop him. That's nope. Didn't drop him and she's, I mean, semi-calm again. She's still paying very close attention to him. Tim Bailey of Bailey and Bailey Reptiles, ladies and gentlemen, a scholar and a gentleman right there, folks. I'm gonna put a link down in the description for all his information so you guys can check him out down below. He's got amazing animals. He's a great pioneer for this industry and uh, 
Just, just a cool dude. I love when it gets my like, like get like hyped up. When your adrenaline starts yes. pumping a little bit, like when it starts strike like, like that. that yeah. That's exciting, huh? That's all. That's also like so. That, that's funny you bring that up because like for me, there's there's that thing where you get that excitement from the adrenaline of a snake that's like defensive and wants to bite you, and then on the opposite end of the spectrum, which I'm sure you experience as well, is like when you're holding the snake and it's calm and it's easy in your hands, it kind of, for me, it like sets me at like a kind of peace. Like it's just, it just calms me down completely. It's like, it takes over my body and it's complete peace and zen. But then you get the adrenaline too. So that's the thing about snakes, you get both, best of both worlds. You I gotta, he said, I gotta call Brian if I, I said, leave Brian alone. He's busy, we got this. <laughs> Thank you, gotta, you. You gotta add a moving right. I appreciate yeah. you. Right, but you know busy. what, you got, you saved me from having to work too hard today. So you did. thank you again. I got lots of things to thank Gracie for this whole weekend. And another another one, I don't have to work as hard moving racks with these fools. <laughs>
catch. <laughs> Alright, we got a nice panther chameleon here. Adam Solari here at a and Exotics. Actually, apparently have some of our videos playing up in their pet shop, so that's pretty sweet. I'll put a link down in the description for their, their store and, and all their information so you guys check this out. It's kind enough to let Gracie hold a panther chameleon here. And uh, look at that guy. We got good technique. Thank you. Yeah, the hand over hand, that, that technique is that's perfect. Can you tell us a little bit about this guy, Adam? So, I got him um, probably about seven months ago. Um, we were, were trying to start doing an educational program for kids uh, in Tulsa, and we just figured he would be a good uh, interactive animal. And we've been working with him every day, three hours a day. Uh, getting in his enclosure, getting him to come out, taking him to shows, and letting him interact so that I can get him to these educational shows. And uh, as a pet store owner and as somebody who comes to these shows, you know, people see these babies and I don't think they realize just how big these guys get. And being able to show them helps people make more responsible choices when they get these animals. I appreciate you, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to tell the folks a little bit about what I know. You just correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Or if I don't know what I'm talking about, you can just set me straight. So, when you were, was it a year or two ago when yes, you had the heart thing? Like Only about a year ago? So you had a you had a like 15 17 millimeter 15, hole in your heart that you were 15 centimeters 15 no, 50 millimeters. millimeters. That's all I, I don't know metric system either. Don't I? Um, 15 15 millimeter hole in your heart that has been there since you were born. They yes. just kind of discovered they just, it. They didn't see it. They didn't see it, and so they went in and they they fixed it. Mm -hmm. And then just this year, you also had a. Is it a cyst of some kind on your... On my head, on my brain. On your brain? Mm -hmm. And they're, they're not sure if it's benign or not? They haven't done any testing yet or anything? No, they've kept an eye on it and stuff like that, but they don't know yet. They, they don't know yet what's... They're in. keeping an eye and seeing if it's gonna grow. Okay. And uh, so you talked to Chase a little bit, and Chase, so you guys know Chase over JKR recently went through the... They had a brain tumor and, and all that, and we he went through recovery and he's done good. And so we're hoping, I think, to get a second opinion from the doctors that he worked with. He's going to contact them so that we can, instead of just wait and see where this thing is, get a second opinion and maybe move forward and do something to, to make sure that it is benign or that we can make sure that... Gracie, Gracie wants to be an exotic reptile vet when she, when she grows up. And she's going to be working on it. She's already obviously got a great gift with animals, has a nice natural instinct for, for holding them, caring for them, is very passionate about how they, how they are. Not only that, but she's a, a wonderful light of a human being. I don't know if it's shining through the camera to you or not, but I've got a great gauge for human character at this point in my life. And uh, this girl is a bright, shining light of a soul. And we, we want to keep we want to keep you around for as long as possible so you can become a reptile vet. So we're going to do everything we can. We're everybody's going to go down in the comments. We're going to show support for what you're going through, what you've been through, and see you to become that reptile vet that we, that we need in this world. All right? And thank you, thank you for reaching out or just liking the stuff enough to where you set things in motion to get me here to, for us to meet because hanging out with you this weekend has been, you've made my weekend. You've probably made my whole year so far. So thank you very much, sis. I, I love you. Thank you. And that's it. That's it. You got, unless you got something else you want to say to the folks, then we can just we can just get out of here, get a weird weird camera stuff, and let's go talk amongst ourselves. <laughs> just in case there was any question as to who stands around talking. Hey, hey, hey. While other people are working, just so we know for sure exactly what's happening. What do you have to say for yourself, sir? Uh -huh.